like a shark in a shrimp tank. Big fish, small pond in the shrimp tank. When it take a swim, only option is to win. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the post-show wrap-up of The Shrimp Tank. I'm your host, Rich Jensen, along with my co-host, David Sims, and our special guest today, Frank Lawrence of the Little Rock Athletic Club. Remember, you can always catch uh, the entire podcast at arkansas.shrimptankpodcast.com, and you can also download it from iTunes. And all of our post-show wrap-up videos are available on our YouTube channel, where we highlight some of the things that we pulled out from our conversation together on the full podcast. So, Frank, we didn't get a chance to get to it on the podcast, but right before we kind of went live with the video, you mentioned something you're doing this weekend called Outback in the Ozarks or something like that? Yeah, so uh, it's called Outback in the Ozarks. It's a 200-mile relay race. Actually, this one's going to be 207 miles. Typically, people do it with 12-person teams, but we're uh, we're taking three teams uh, to uh, Eureka Springs, and uh, these teams will have six people on them. And wow. so um, uh, each person will end up running six legs, so averaging about 34 to 36 miles total. Wow. Uh, and so we'll start 9 o'clock Friday morning. And um, and then hopefully we get to uh, Fayetteville somewhere around three thirty, three o'clock on uh, Saturday exactly. afternoon. But so we'll if you're be, a real glutton for punishment, yeah. head up to out back at the Ozarks. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll be rolling through the Ozarks all all day and all night, Friday and Saturday. Yeah. So I like to roll in four wheels, <laughs> <laughs> not actually my two feet. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was a great show. It was great yeah, to have really you on the show, was. Frank. It's uh, great to get to know you too. We enjoy the Little Rock Athletic Club. It's a fantastic uh, club and. And a lot of things you talked about on the podcast, we really have experienced. But we, uh, I learned a new word, hacks. I mean, I can't believe it. I mean, I, I am gray hair. I am old. But, uh, you know, I would think it was habits. But you talked about your CEO hacks, the things yeah. that you do. Talk, tell our listeners about that. Yeah, I mean, so, again, I, there, there are lots of them kind of always trying to figure out how to uh, learn more. Uh, for me, you know, the simple things become reading, listening. I'm an audio, uh, audio uh, learner, so I like to listen to podcasts, uh, mm-hmm. and this will now be on my subscribe there list uh, mm-hmm. to listen to. But podcasts, you know, I'll tell you other, other kind of weird ones like, uh, again, I grew up at Bank of the Ozarks, but I listen to their earnings calls. So, really? Uh, <laughs> as a CEO. CEO uh-huh. of a local business, yeah. I listen to their earnings calls, and to me, I, one, I think I know how to kind of read between the lines of what they say mm-hmm. a little bit, uh-huh. right? Yeah. But then number two is, I think it's just a great way to get a, a temperature on what the business climate is, yeah. both That's regionally true. and yeah. nationally, mm-hmm. uh, based upon how they're they're yeah. doing and how they're responding to questions from their investors, basically. Yeah. Now, during the podcast, we talked about how there are a lot of fitness clubs springing up all mm-hmm. over the place, and we talked about what sets Little Rock Athletic Club apart, what differentiates you guys. Yeah. Share with our listeners, I, I thought it was a great answer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think, again, fitness is everywhere, so you can get it uh, anywhere. I think at the end of the day, what we uh, provide is community. We provide mm-hmm. a place to make connections, uh, to uh, work out together, sweat together. Uh, uh, bond together, and and you know I think we really provide. We call it a platform for a life well lived. Mm-hmm. And I think at all of our clubs, we provide this just tremendous platform. And on top of that platform, there are hundreds of little communities. Mm-hmm. And I think part of my job as as the the, the CEO is to try to just kind of let those communities mesh together and some are going to never know that the other community exists or not mm-hmm. but then how do you, sometimes do you kind of bounce those communities off each yeah. other and make those connections yeah. right yeah so. you talked about even kind of like the study or i think harvard harvard you didn't talk about it on the podcast yeah. but in between you talked about this study about how it's kind of replacing church in a lot of ways yeah that's right yes yeah, so there was a study done by harvard divinity school and it profiled 10 different organizations and two of them happened to be fitness related one was crossfit the other was soul cycle hmm. and kind of the whole premise of that was that you know these types of organizations um, are uh, offering a place for people to be connected. Right. Yeah. In today's society, we're more we're more connected than ever before, but at the same time, we're actually more isolated than ever yeah. before because most of our connections are virtual. Yeah, yeah, right? the technology. Uh, and so, given that the, um, uh, the the physical space of the athletic club, or yeah. the physically you and I going and being in a van, doing mm-hmm. out back in the Ozarks, mm-hmm. yeah. gives us that opportunity to yeah, be bonded and really. connected. Like people would have had in church. One other thing you said on the show was about systemizing your day, and we talked about mm-hmm. this book called uh, Make Your Bed, a speech yeah. by this uh, 
admiral in yeah. the Navy. Talk about that real quick and how that had uh, Yeah, I mean, obviously that book, Make Your Bed, I mean, his, his premise is if you make your bed first thing in the morning, whether you accomplish nothing else in your day, when you come home at night, you've made your bed. Right. And, you know, I really credit my wife, Jill, for this. Is she has systematized our house and the function and flow of things. And so for me, little things like when I get up in the morning, first thing I do is I walk downstairs, open the door, let the dog out the front door. I go turn on the coffee pot, and as soon as I do that, I'm unloading the dishwasher. And it hmm. takes five minutes, yeah. maybe ten, yeah. but it sets the tone, sets the tone for the for whole day. And even if you have a bad day, you know you, you emptied the dishwasher. The dishwasher right? <laughs> so That's the exact point. Yeah. same principle. <laughs> That's great. Uh, That's really yeah. good. Well, Frank, we want to thank you so much for coming on the podcast thank today. Thank you, guys. I encourage you, if you didn't listen to the full podcast yet, go back, listen to it. There's all sorts of great wisdom. Um, Frank manages a club with over 350 employees, actually four locations, so there's a lot of great pearls of wisdom to find there. Mm. Frank, if people want to find out more about the Little Rock Athletic Club, or, or you in particular, how would they best get a hold of you? Yeah, uh, www.lrac.com, littlerockathleticclub.com. That's probably the best way. You can link to all of our other clubs, Racket Club, Little Rock Racket Club, North Little Rock Athletic Club, or Downtown mm. Athletic Club. And we there. did on our plead the fifth segment we did try to get a free membership out of it but we lost, we lost so. again we're <laughs> striking out every time <laughs> hey until next week uh, remember you can always download the uh, entire podcast at itunes or go to arkansas.shrimptankpodcast.com have a great week next week we'll have a physician and entrepreneur from right here in little rock on the specific chiropractic is the name of the firm and you won't want to miss that and remember during the week to become a shark we all start out as shrimp